what's up what's up y'all it's your girl kiki and i'm back with another video okay you guys so today i have a new video as you can see and I'm excited but nervous at the same time for it because I'm gonna be doing a makeup video which I have not done a makeup video in years okay like years and I've been wanting to do one for a long time I'm just like procrastinating because I'm not a professional by any means and I don't even know if I'm doing the steps right but I mean I can only practice and I can show you guys what I do on an everyday basis so yes this is an everyday makeup look with the makeup that i have i am gonna be reviewing a makeup today which you will see in just a minute before we get into this makeup look please go ahead and hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel you guys i'm on the road to 700 subscribers and then also hit the bell to get notified every time i upload a video so the first thing i do every day or every time i do my makeup is i do my eyebrows and the eyebrow pencil that I use is by Kiss. And it's this Kiss eyebrow. You can't even see that. I'm not even, I don't know why I'm showing you. But it's a Kiss eyebrow pencil in dark brown. But I have this little one left, so I'm just going to finish using that. So, yes. Disregard my eyebrows. y'all can hear me because the air is on i can't do this without no air i'll pass out i'll be greasy the makeup look will look like i just ran five miles outside it won't even look right y'all be like what and with my Zoria Concealer 854 brush and I'm going to use this to outline my eyebrows and to outline my eyebrows I've been using this forever I use L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick and it is a foundation stick I've had it for a while so it's a foundation stick but I use it to highlight my eyebrows and get them to the right shape that I want. So that's before and after. It's a major difference, y'all. Like, I don't know. I can just leave my eyebrows like this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get them to look like identical, identical twins and not distant cousins. So let's try. Who watching right now does their makeup like every day even though we're quarantined I mean some people do work but if you're at home every day do you still do your makeup let me know all right so now I'm just going to take this flatter brush and it's just an e.l.f. eye shadow brush. It's not like really a name brand one, so, but it works really good for me. I'm just gonna go and try to blend out the foundation that I outline my eye sh eyebrow with, just so it just looks more natural. Now, like, bam! You just got it right on your right on. I, I could tell you just highlighted all your eyebrows. I'm working on blending. My mom tells me I need to blend more. She always tells me, you need to blend, you need to blend, blend, blend. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. 
all right so we're done with the eyebrows this is what they're looking like hopefully they look like they're related <laughs> i'm gonna go in with this elf 16 hour camo concealer and i've only used this a couple times can you guys see that because this glare from my there we go and it is in the color rich cocoa i'm gonna go right underneath my eye Then if I have any more left, which I don't think I do, I go and I put it right on my eye lid. Now I have this Eco Tools. It's an angled foundation brush. That's what it looks like. And what I use this for is I go ahead and blend out the makeup, out the concealer that I put underneath my eyes. And then after I put on that concealer, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on this Pro Concealer right here in the color fawn just like it because it gives my under eyes um, a little highlight so it's like not dark but the other found the other concealer that i use is just to get the pigmentation just a little bit closer to my skin tone because i feel like if i put this la girl right on top it doesn't really conceal my dark eyes so this one is just to really highlight Still getting used to like really exploring my makeup um, makeup journey I want to get really really good at it I watch Aaliyah J a lot because I've been watching her for years ever since she first started and she didn't used to be how she was now you know she used to be just like I think me maybe a little bit better, but you know, she was just experimenting, using every day, using drugstore makeup every day, you know, nothing like she's doing now. But I really, really like, I like how she does makeup still, even using some of the products that I'm using. Now I'm gonna go in with my Jackie Hill Morphe, um, ring the alarm. <laughs> Y'all can't even see no more. I've had this palette for too long. It's the Ring the Alarm eyeshadow. I can see that eyeshadow palette. And I've been using. I think I got this from my for my wedding, and I've been using it ever since then. So over a year. I'm not going with this brush. It don't have a name, but it has two sides. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and take my Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I need to get more of it. It's by Revolution. Uh, Y'all can't really see that because the light is so dang bright. But I just go ahead and just spray and coat it just a little bit. And the color I'm going to be using in this palette is I'm going to use the color Rush right here. Rush and on camera. So these two so I'm gonna be using rush first I'm just gonna get enough and I'm just gonna put it on my eye lid other Eco's Eco Tools blurring brush just like that just a little 
um, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna also spray it with my Pro Fix. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the on camera. On camera. Because I'm on camera. <laughs> because I want some more colors like a pretty green or orange but I'm gonna try to blend this out so I'm gonna be using the framed shadow just a little on the outside and then I'm gonna go back is this the right one yes the define the fine crease brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it blend it in what that look like okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue on my lashes that's what I usually do and while the glue on the lashes is um, drying or getting tacky I go ahead and put my foundation on so the lashes that I'm gonna be using is the color cat cat eye 3d lash by Ebon New York Bam, right there the makeup that I'm reviewing, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, which one are you using? I'm going to be using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. And this makeup retails for $14. But y'all, my mom got this makeup at her Walmart for, she got it for a dollar, you guys. Look at that. Yes, a dollar. A whole dollar! Is it upside down? Okay, my bad. A whole dollar. Oh my gosh, on clearance. Like, she's always bringing me makeup to try, and I love it. I don't remember the last time I even spent money on <laughs> foundation makeup, period. So while my eyelashes are getting tacky, I'm just going to go ahead and be reviewing this. So it has this drop droplet to apply it. This is what I see the girls be doing. <laughs> That's what I see girls be doing. I'm like, okay. So I'm gonna go in with my R2 22 one brush. I'm gonna put it on the lowest one at first. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Just by using it right now, what I could say is don't use a lot. Like it get it goes far. I, as you can see, my forehead looks like I'm a totally different color. But we're gonna blend it out. We're gonna blend it. We're gonna get it together. But let's check on these eyelashes. Yeah, the corner of this one is drying a little bit, so I was gonna leave that for now. So I'm just gonna go and just blend out this foundation as much as I could. I put on a little too much than I really wanted, so I'm gonna push up this brush to mid. And if you guys wanna review on this brush right here, please let me know and I will do one. I 
I like to look a different complexion. blender and try to blend out it around the perimeter of my face especially so it's not just like so obvious okay so I think I kind of put too much foundation on but this is what it's looking like it's as best as I can blend it out for now so I, I think I kind of put too much foundation over the concealer I put under my eyes so I'm just gonna try to put a little bit more Boop. so I can get that look that look, look, look. just a little bit it was looking darker than it actually does to me um and i just want to go ahead and try to just blend it out more and just fix up anything else um so i'm gonna go ahead and use this maybelline new york superstay multi-use foundation stick in the color deep bronze and it has two sides to it. This is the stick side right here. And so the stick side, boop, and the side to I guess like blend it in and smudge it. So I'm gonna use it right here. And then I'm gonna go right under it. And above it. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. <laughs> Um, so that is the final result. I just put on my earrings. I put on a little lip, a little cute little lip. Um, I'll put it in the description box, I'm sure. And that's it. And I just laid down my hair as much as I could, even though it's hot and they don't want to cooperate. But yeah, that is it for this look, you guys. Um, so as far as this deep, rich NYX Total Control drop foundation i really do like this foundation so far it really goes on smooth it doesn't feel like i have any foundation on my face which i really like because i don't like the feeling of heavy foundation heavy greasy foundation and this is not greasy or heavy it is actually like really really light rich um like foam if that makes sense um so i really like it but i think i'm gonna go in a color darker so I don't know the darker color than this, but this is deep rich. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have a color darker and try that because I just feel like it's a little light. Um, just a little smidge, especially in the summertime. It's, I get a little bit darker because I'm outside. Well, that's if I'm gonna be let outside. If we can be let outside, <laughs> then, you know, I will get darker. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I recommend this foundation and everything that I use in this video was, each item is under $10. So, and I'm I'm really happy with my look today, especially my eyeshadow, but I don't know. Can y'all really see? 
hopefully you guys enjoyed please go ahead and hit this like the like button subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time i upload i'll see you on the next video